I just wrapped up that last video and came back down to the poop deck to finish my coffee. Yes, we have a coffee on the poop deck. Anyhow, here's Risley to the rescue. The icebreaker is from the Canadian Coast Guard and I can't see the screen very well, but I'm just going to zoom in and, and kind of hope, well, <laughs> totally hope, that that the boat is in view. Um, I'm in a warmer spot, so the wind's not blowing right on my fingers. I can, there's our track. It was weird earlier, I thought I was going to get video of that, but as we were going through the ice, um, well, this is a good ice breaking boat, by the way. It's got a good cut and bow, and that's why the bows were shaped this way on the on the Great Lakes. Uh, they um, weren't sure when they started doing the the round bow boats. Uh, they weren't sure how those would handle in the ice. They turned out to be okay, but this one uh, with the classic pointy bow is a really good ice cutting boat, ice breaking boat. But we do get stuck, and. That Coast Guard boat that's coming up to get us, to rescue us and free us and, and send us on our way again. She's got an even better one. You can see how she rides right up on the ice and she kind of bounces a bit. And you can see that. I think it's on uh, one of those science channels that explains how the icebreakers work. If you had smell a vision, you could smell Aaron's cooking. You know, it's just really the deep fryer. That's not his cooking. He, he does cook a, a mean meal, though. But, but if you can see the Risley, um, she's kind of bob. What she does is she, as she's sailing along, she, her bow slides up on the ice. It rises up above the ice, and then the weight of it comes down and slams through. Now she's in the clear water, clear of the ice, so she's riding more smooth and she's gonna keep going straight across. And um, since we're in the shipping lane here, when she's crossing the shipping lane, that open water there is where she's been through before to break ice. And there are a couple of other spots there too. You can see the open water, I think. And I'm not going to go forward to film this because it's just way too cold, it's way too long, and I don't have enough battery. I don't know if you can see the boat now. I left, I'm, I'm a little too far from my coffee. I'm starting to get separation anxiety. <laughs> Gotta go back over there and get that. Yes, I brought coffee out here. I was on my way back into the galley. Stomp the crud off my work shoes. That's a cool looking boat. Okay, I'm gonna go get my coffee. All right, there we are. And this is, I don't know if you can see that, the submarine supply. how loud the wind is. I think I'll cut this and I'll start a new video.